Welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. we're doing a pizza quiche yes. from Kent Altena who's also another youtuber so we'll go make sure we link him down below yes. and an eye in the sky so you guys can go and check out his recipe cuz Kirsty's going to change this up just a little bit just a bit so let's get started shall we alrighty so for like a little appetizer type deal we had us a little salad and we had some um, what is this a turkey, turkey bacon, bacon. And some boiled eggs with some cheese and ranch and then over here for our meal what we're gonna have is I have eight eggs in here eight he did six I'm doing eight and then one cup of heavy whipping cream one cup of uh, skim mozzarella cheese rather than Swiss and then it's gonna call for salt and pepper but I'm not gonna measure mine out I just season the flavor and then I'm gonna add in um, pepperoni turkey because um, he did sausage, but I would much prefer to do this instead. And then I have, it calls for 1.5 pounds of uh, turkey, and I'm using lean turkey, ground turkey at the moment. And I'm actually gonna do two pounds because it was a deal at the store, so and, I mean, why not cook the other half a pound? So, and then I have one onion, and I have a red bell pepper. And he used a, I believe it was like a half of an onion, but I'm gonna use a whole. And then because I'm, I'm doing a little bit more meat too, and then I have my pepper in there. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and start it off a little bit differently than he did. I'm going to use a little bit of canola oil right here in my wok. And then I, I, I cook everything in my wok. Um, and then I'm going to do my vegetables a little bit until they start to get a little bit translucent and to my liking. And then I'll add in my meat. And then I'll mix it all up and brown it and then we'll move on from there. And while she does all that, I'm going to stand here and eat the turkey bacon and look pretty. You eat your faking? Bacon? Faken. What? Fake bacon? Faken? Hey, it's healthy bacon. Do <laughs> more. I just poured in some canola oil. I'm going to get this heated up nice and hot so that way I can saute my vegetables. And when you throw your vegetables in there after it heats up, it's going to make what kind of noise? Sizzling. How, how does it go? <laughs> That's what you want to hear. <laughs> Alrighty, so my canola oil is nice and heated up. I'm going to go ahead and add in my vegetables and get these sauteing. Hear that sizzle? That's exactly what you want to hear. And I'm going to go ahead and give that a stir. Get them nice and coated. I'm going to go ahead and do this until they're nice and translucent and to my liking. So what's next? We're going to add in the turkey. And then we're going to get that all nice and browned up. I'm literally just going to dump it on in. And then let's put that right there. Then I have this little thing right here, little masher. They have better ones out there. That's not working so well. This is my first time using it too. I need to get one of the star mashers, if you know what I mean. Okay, so instead of using the masher, I decided to use this while this is still raw, but once it's brown, we'll go back to that. So I'm just going to break it up, and get it nice and dispersed and mixed. Rough. And we'll do this until it's nice and brown. Rough. Sorry, I got to instigate That's the okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some salt and pepper. I'm not going to measure them. I'm just going to put them right on in. And then I'll give it a good mix in just a moment. So there's my salt and a pinch of pepper. And I'm going to just stir it on it. I'll probably do it a couple more times, maybe even just once. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my meat mixture into my baking pan. My dish. Let's pour it right on in. And I'm not really even going to drain it because it's lean ground turkey. So 
I'm going to just spread this out just so that way it's in the pan nice and even. And then what I'm going to do from here is, because he added sausage into his, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the uh, turkey pepperoni. And I'm just going to layer it right over the top, just like so. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk my eggs. Get them nice and whisked. Those yolks all nice and hot. Now I'm going to pour in my one cup of uh, whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. Heavy, man. And then I'm also going to stir in my skim mozzarella cheese. All right. And I'm just going to whisk that on it. Get it all nice and combined. And then at this point, he also added a pincher to of that pepper. So I'll go ahead and take some of my pepper, put that right on in, just a few shakes. Stir it on up. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour this over the top of my meat mixture with the pepperonis. And this is eight eggs. I'm just going to coat the entire thing, make sure that the egg mixture is covering it. How does that look, Val? That looks yummy. Does it look good? Does it look well combined yep. to you? It does. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is I already have my oven preheated at 350. I'm going to bake this for 45 minutes. And I'm not sure yet, but I just might add some cheese towards the end, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's see how this comes out. It's going to be interesting. Never made it before. I think so. it's going to be delicious, and we will definitely have to thank Kent for this recipe. Yes, definitely. And we'll definitely have to let all the people that are on the Atkins diet have this recipe. As well. Which is also very good for the people who have had the gastric bypass or the gastric sleeve surgery and mm -hmm. have to he eat high protein because that's what this is. Yes. It's very high in protein. Yes. So, She's um, the reason I'm making this recipe. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very good uh, recipe for the people who've had this surgery. So I'll let you all know how it turns out. Okay, so it's time to take it out of the oven? Yes, it's been 45 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and take a look. Ooh, Ooh that looks really good. Let's get this thing out. That looks fantastic. Look at how yummy that looks, guys. That looks great. I don't think it needs anything else, do you? Mm -mm. Nope. I think you can add fantastic. cheese to your own if you want it on it. And yeah. We are ready to give this a try. So we're going to dish it out now and, or as they say, plate it up and yes. give it a taste and we'll let you know what we all think. Okay, so we're going to have Kevin do the first taste test. Oh, oh, oh. And do we have a thumbs up? Oh yeah. Do, do you have one thumbs or two thumbs? Two thumbs up. All right. Okay. You got pepper and onion and meat and everything. Ooh, it's really hot. Mmm. All right. And I'm trying to get a little bit of everything too, but everything's falling off here. And it's really hot too. Mm. <laughs> Okay, here we go. It's going to be a big bite. Okay, let's check this out. It's good. That is very, very good. So there you have it, guys. This is a pizza quiche from Kent Altena. And we will see you next time on another episode.